welcome back to the channel um so i got a 04 kia sorrento out here it's a crank no start got a couple codes for uh one the p0355 for the crankshaft sensor which i believe is going to be the actual issue of the no start but there is a code uh, another dtc p uh, 1121 I believe for the throttle position sensor so I'm just gonna check that TPS real quick I'll make another video on the the full crank no start diag on this but this is just kind of a how-to as far as uh, TPS testing so I'm gonna pop the hood let's get started it's a three wire sensor we got the, uh, the power the 5 volt reference and then the, the signal wire so I believe the brown wire is the ground so we're gonna test for ground there the red wire is going to be the five volt reference and then the red black wire is going to be our signal wire and that should be a 0.5 to five volt signal so we want to see a clean sweep so the service information uh they made it seem like there was just uh it was a three wire sensor i guess there's another green wire so i'm not exactly sure what that is you want to find a clean ground so that was a bare bolt uh <laughs> and it was pretty easily accessible so we'll see if that's good it should be and so that red wire is going to be our five volt reference i believe so i'm just going to back probe that so i think that's should be making contact i actually need to go turn the key on okay so you can see there's our five volts right there. Um, and you don't want to shove that in there. Like I was saying, it doesn't need to go all the way. It just needs to make contact with that, uh, the terminal in there. You don't want to push it in and spread the pins or cause any additional issues that weren't there before. It's just going to complicate your diagnostic and, um, you know, just take the extra care. It's well worth it. So now I go over to that red black wire. I believe. So let's see if I'm going to, I'm just going to uh, move this by hand. Uh, throttle plate, and we'll see if it changes. So nothing. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What is this green wire? Oh, we've got something there. You can see there's a little noise. So I want to adjust this time base so we can see uh, the actual movement. Um, okay, we're all, we're getting there. Okay. I think uh, probably two seconds per division. That'll give us enough time. Yeah, my hand's not super, or super steady. So <laughs> not a super smooth line, but basically we're looking for dropouts. So that green wire appears to be the signal. I'm just curious what that the surface data um, saying that red black wire was. Let's see maybe. Yeah, there's nothing on that red black wire. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna check that ground on that that brown wire and then I need to go figure out what that other wire is for. I've just got that positive lead hooked over there to the B plus on the battery. And we're just gonna come over here and back probe that brown wire. Uh, so you guys can see. So that's the ground. I'm gonna tap it and watch the scope there. So we can see our leads are hooked up and uh, we should be good to go. So let's get this. There we go. Yep, got a good ground. You know, maybe I didn't probe that, that other one far enough. Let me see here. 
So I'm just back there on that uh, ground on the intake here and that just not it's just oh yeah we got action there so that red red black wire i just wasn't probed deep enough so um let's try to get a clean sweep out of that that appears to just be like an on off signal there is no it's either on or off see there's no sweep so we're back on that green wire now to get a clean sweep my hands are kind of shaky. I'm gonna try to get a single capture and then zoom in. Okay we got her on single. Oh yeah let's try that again. There we go. So that should just freeze there. Just imagine you know if we were like you know partial way up and then all of a sudden you've seen a down spike that would be a dropout where there's a dead there's something spot. wrong internally in the sensor. Uh, the contacts have wore out and it just needs a new sensor. So I'm not with, I don't really know what's going on with this circuit. I'm going to move on. on. I'm going to test that crank sensor now. That'll be a separate video. I'm going to go over the whole no start diagnostic from where I started, how I ended up here. And okay, so I just was combing through this service information just so i could see what that other wire was it is just an on off switch it's just a letting the ecu know a throttle switch open or closed so um that's what we were seeing there and this is just like repair replacement this is a tsb i guess it's a known issue these sensors uh basically it'll set that p1121 or the 0121, 0122, and the P0700. So, um, if you're having any of those issues, those codes, check this throttle position sensor. And it's basically saying exactly what um, what I was saying about the uh, uh, the uh, increase the contact resistance due to excessive wear and in the inner elements of the TP sensor. So. We're going to have an intermittent issue there, and um, it says this mainly applies to um, dry areas, desert areas, so uh, high ambient or desert areas, which we are, so uh, there you go. Alright, so we got that diagram pulled up, or about to pull it up. I don't know why that, that service information, it just just references those those three wires so I'm unsure why uh, we've got to find that TPS sensor now okay so here we go yeah there's four sensors I mean four wires and it looks like it goes back into diagram two maybe all right so there's our little position sensor um, this I'm just curious I'm curious about that green wire oh, <laughs> that's gonna go over uh, is that <laughs> okay yeah that goes right to the PCM so okay um, well I mean that's our signal um, that's our signal wire I don't know why so let's see that red black wire okay <laughs> that goes over there too um, that's the one that that red black that was the switch the on off so I tried to go into the OE diagrams and you know <laughs> this is what it's giving me uh, I'm not sure if it's a an issue with my software or but this is why I was, you know, in some other videos I've talked about, you know, the need for multiple 
uh, you know, multiple, multiple outlets for, uh, you know, to reference service information. It's very important because, uh, you know, you run into stuff like this all the time and it's, uh, it can be kind of frustrating. There's the TPS right over here. Say this, uh, I mean, that brown wire, that's, that's ground, I believe, but, um, and mass airflow. So we didn't find any issues with that sensor right now. That's not to say there's not an issue. These things can be intermittent if those contacts are wearing out internally. Um, you know, it'd be one of those glitches that just happens sometimes, you know, it just doesn't make contact and uh, sets this DTC. So with this Sorento, um, P P1121 and P0700, uh, which is a transmission sensor or a transmission DTC, uh, th those will set, you know, under, under that, that condition. So, um, there's obviously a fault there. I'm not saying there's not, but I didn't see one. And that's how you test for it though. Uh, it, you know, one of those things that if, if I were to go out there and you know test it, test it, test it, I might get it to glitch out. But for this no start, I'm not concerned with that. Uh, you know, that might be something they're driving along and you know, step on it and it doesn't, doesn't go or, and then it goes. Um, you know, it may have happened to them before, I don't know, but this car's got a lot of issues and I'm not, you know, <clears throat> right now <laughs> they just need the car running. They need it started. So that's, that's my primary concern and I'm going to attack that crank sensor code. So, you know, like I was saying, this is just a, a part of a, uh, full on no start video that I'm going to make. Uh, but there are people out there that just want to know how to test a TPS sensor. So I thought I'd uh, just make a quick one regarding that. And if you guys like this video, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.